What up, everybody? This is your boy, Black Magus. And, man, the other day I actually recorded one of these and the video just abruptly stopped itself. Uh, what the fuck? It's go Yo, it's been a dumb day. This car just fucking turned right from the, like, left lane. What is wrong with you? <sighs> been a kind of day, people. Uh, which is why I wanted to do this. But, yeah, that video got abruptly ended. I was talking about how... I have been fully vaccinated and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, felt a little, like, you know, weird that first week. It, like, well, not the first week, but the first couple of days into it. Um, but other than that, you know, no serious sickness. Just really, really, like, run down and tired. But that's besides the point. Let's get to today's drama. Just wanted to let you guys know, like, what the experience was like really quick. Um, and to tell you, get vaccinated. All right. So, as a lot of you who watch these videos know, I do DoorDash. And, you know, I got to tell you, as the sun blocks my pretty face from you guys seeing it, I got to tell you. People are dumb. Fucking dumb. And annoying. And usually it's out of a combination of people. Um, it's usually out of young people, ignorant people, or older people. Um, sometimes those two mix, which they mix this time. So... First of all, I'm picking up an order where, of course, the person's not tipping. It's not even a, like, really well-paying job, but it was like, fuck it. I'll do it. Um, just, you know, side note, it was a place that I had a coupon for anyway, for half off on some, uh, teriyaki. So, I ended up getting teriyaki half off. So, win for me. That's my dinner. Just we're gonna go and warm it up now. But I was like, fine. I'll order this. It's gonna take me a while to get there because I know the area. I've just been in the area and there was an accident. Car hit a uh, power line, a power pole, and knocked that shit down across the road. Oddly enough, right across smack dab across the entrance to the plaza, which is where the location of the restaurant was. So they had to reroute everything because you couldn't come down that street because the pole down and you had power lines crossing the road. So, you know, they blocked that shit off to make sure nobody could come through and get fucked up. So it took me a while to get there and it took me a while to get out, and especially a while to get out because unfortunately the only way to reroute traffic to the roads was through the shopping center. And you guys know how shopping centers are like normally. Especially if it's a busy shopping center, because the place I went to was also right next to a grocery store, also right next to like a Five Guys, a Wing Stop. Um, if you keep going straight, you run into like a bunch of sit-down restaurants that you can go pick up stuff from. It's a very, very busy shopping center to begin with. So add on that, them trying to reroute like rush hour traffic through there, and it's near a exit to the expressway so you know you got the people coming on and off the expressway trying to get through it, it was just a mess so i'm sitting there like trying to like you know get out to start maneuvering and i get a text why aren't you moving i'm like huh it's the customer so i'm like um i pretty much let them know there's there was a traffic accident. Things like are congested and they're rerouting things to the parking lot, you know, so making my way to the road. Okay, cool. Two, three minutes later, so you good? I didn't answer. Why the fuck are you like hitting me up like crazy? It's like texting me like crazy about this. Clearly, if there's an accident and there's something blocking the road, I ain't gonna move as fast. And I was already like, you know, not a good move because I'm sitting in traffic. And then I was like, yo, 
I bet you this is a kid, dumb kid, who wants some food because they order a lot of food. And like I said, wasn't the greatest paid job, but it was like a lot of food and no tip. And so I was just like, whatever, I'm gonna ignore this. And I guarantee you, if I show up, it's gonna be some dumb, like, ignorant little kid. Sure enough, it was a dumb, ignorant little kid. People. Do you realize that, like, your drivers aren't trying to be late, like, on purpose? Do you realize that when you're doing delivery, especially during rush hour, traffic may come into play. Things happen on the road. I actually blew a tire making a delivery once and it took me forever to get there because I actually had to like drive like as cautiously as fuck 15 minutes to the place and then like get road service. Like cause where I where I blew the tire, there was nothing around. There wasn't even a gas station to pull over into and get any help. It was just clearly barren land. So, yeah, and then I had to drive another 10 minutes to someplace so I can get help. That's how crazy it was. Um, but yeah. Uh, contact your driver if he, like, you ask them, like, what's wrong, and they tell you what's wrong. Leave it there. Don't harass them. Good Lord. Don't harass them if you, a like, fucking, you probably, like, using coupons and stuff like that and being cheap and then you demanding people to rush with your food and risk their lives to get you your food. If you're that damn hungry, you probably should have went out and got it yourself. I know that sounds bad. I know it's fucked up like if that person saw this and I heard me calling them dumb and you know, like dumb, ignorant son of a bitch, but eh. I'm off the clock now so you can't do that. To me. One. And two, it's just like it's just like frustrating. Cause it's already frustrating that I gotta go through the whole ordeal. And me being me, I'm already like pissed because I'm gonna be late. I don't like being late. You know, having worked a lot of customer service, I hate doing fucked up shit like earlier today. I had to wait damn near 30 minutes because, <laughs> again, this shows you the kind of day is. This was like my first delivery. 30 minutes for some chicken tenders from Popeyes because this person wanted Popeyes at 11 in the morning. Okay. Popeyes open at 10, so. Hey. What do what you want, right? I get into Popeyes and there's no fucking chicken on the rack. Well, maybe 10 pieces of chicken on the rack. Chicken. This is Popeyes, y'all. Chicken's their thing. No tenders are cooked. Maybe a handful of, um,. That butterfly shrimp special that they got going on is sitting around. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, no popcorn shrimp. No chicken sandwiches, by the way, y'all. And y'all know how people are about those chicken sandwiches. I'm not parking there because that person parked into two fucking spaces. Because they're a dick. Um, but yeah, no like chicken sandwiches. Y'all, they didn't have the fillets for the chicken sandwich. And you know how y'all be about those chicken sandwiches. I am still probably the only person on earth who probably never had that Popeye's chicken sandwich. For real. They ain't had no chicken sandwiches ready. Like, they have jack shit. And then it took them 30 minutes to cook chicken tenders? Like, yo, the fuck? Did you just slaughter the chickens? Like, what is going on? It was wild. It was wild as fuck. So like, yeah, my day started with bullshit. My day ended with bullshit. And why are you looking at me like that when you saw me backing up? You fuck. Oh my God, people are stupid. I don't like human beings. I really don't. And I don't like when the shadows are obscuring me from seeing the goddamn lines. Uh, I can get in the parking space properly and not fucking be double parked like asshole who blocked the space closer to my house. But yeah, now I have to check to make sure I'm in line because that's the type of person I am. I am in the line. But yeah, so it's just wild. It began with bullshit, ended with bullshit. Wild day. You know, I'm glad the people earlier were understanding, but this, like, again, 
you get people like dude at the end who just like, man, I'm hungry. Where my food at? He better hurry up. Like, whatever. <laughs> dude, I'm not gonna kill myself or stress myself like that. Yeah. I'll let you know the situation a moment away. Fuck you. Anyway. I'm gonna go and probably play some video games. I've not been playing video games like I should. Although I did beat a video game. I actually beat um, Call of Duty World War II, the campaign. So that's a plus for me. I actually beat something. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go home. Chill. <sighs> Eat. And relax. So with that being said, as always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. It's your boy, Black Makers. I'm out. Deuces.